even know your client's name. That's kind of bad on your part. I won't forget this. Ever, let's celebrate. Dinner, movie, my treat. Please. I made one for her and for me. R really? You? Y you. You, you, your dumbass made this. <laughs> Why do I imagine <laughs> just Larry in the Supreme outfit with this, with this stance? <laughs> ho ho. Merry Christmas. Oh. Oh no. Oh. No. Booba lady. She didn't deserve to go out like that by a freaking Wilford Warstache looking guy. <laughs> so Mia was writing that girl's name. Maybe I should- Jesus Christ! <laughs> that scared the shit out of me! Oh boy, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo! <laughs> the victim drew this near note in her own blood, you see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name! Killer? I'm not- Case closed! You're coming to the precinct, man! <laughs> oh my god. God, she was such a fucking idiot. So this is stung in her own the first victim. This is murder all over again. Yeah, basically. Well, I know who to go to if I get into trouble now. Oh, yeah. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. <gasps> she said that about me? Booba didn't trust me? Mia, I thought we had a connection. What happened? She said to wait three more years. Well, I'm sorry, sweetheart. You don't really have any other choice. You're gonna have to deal with me. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's, it's okay. It's true, I guess. Um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? White, at your service. Hang on, that Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name White. I, I did. And don't go calling me Dick. <laughs> Hey, Dick, get over <laughs> Hey, Dick, get over here. Yes, sure. Be right there. <laughs> the city put Prosecutor Edgeworth under prosecution. Ah, uh, does that mean he's going to be like, ha, autopsy report, not good enough. <laughs> uh, got a new one. Oh, yeah, her, she's a thing. Uh, the witness? Yeah, Miss April May. Miss April, May, June? <laughs> but I can't tell you anything about her. Is her last name June? Wait, where my girl June July? <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna give her the worst valley, go <laughs> valley girl voice. Oh well, hello there, handsome. God, I hate her. Me too. <laughs> what is this screwdriver? There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what that's inside. Let me take a look. Hey! <laughs> What are you doing? No touching! Ooh, a bad one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> like a man with a... I like a man with a big vocabulary. <laughs> Say Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? I hate you. At least this game isn't horny. Mm, this game probably is going to get horny, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's quite a painting. Indiana Jones, haha. <laughs> okay, from, what do you mean that's not Indiana Indiana Jones? It kind of looks like it with the outfit. Tell me that does not look like Indiana Jones. Am I going crazy? Thank you, at least you see what I mean. Okay, yes, and yes, I've seen Indiana Jones. It's been a hot minute, but I have seen Indiana Jones and it kind of looked like him. Hmm, <clears throat> pretty bellboy, okay. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? Oh, I know where I've heard that your name. You know, the name that Maya just said that might be the enemy. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. White. That was his name. Walter White. Let's, Let's take a little look. -see. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I, mm. Yep. You know what I mean. <gasps> Edgy boy. The prosecution is ready, y'all. The, the defense is ready, your honor. Miles Edward. I better not show any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me in an instant. Or he'll be on top of me. <laughs> oh, sorry. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? 
Can you tell me why? Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Now number five. I never want to hear you say, well, I want it that way. Hard evidence. <laughs> like your name? Ah! Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. How do I sound like Edna from The Incredibles there? <laughs> All right, buddy, let me just blink. Boink. She died immediately. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but oh no. I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? Um, when? Uh, the day after the murder. It was the day after the murder? The prosecution's point being... <laughs> no, 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 buddy. Updated autopsy report. There we go. Oh, God. That autopsy report is outdated, your honor. <laughs> Here, take another autopsy report, buddy. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. <laughs> Something you want to say? I'm a sh- <laughs> I, should I say I'm a sham? <laughs> He's a spam. April, May. Ah, yes. Ah, there it is. See? See, that's what I was talking about. You know how this game is sometimes horny? There you go. That's right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> God damn it. That's right, big boy. <laughs> oh, don't. You can't do that. that that's not allowed. I don't see any need to trouble the witness any. Excuse me, your honor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wright. What about my cross-examination? You know, the kind of thing I'm supposed to do? That girl, she caught up to her and she hit her. How did you know it was my client? Huh? Well, I... Gee, first of all, she had a girl's physique. And secondly, she was... She was small. Who else could it be but her? Hold on a minute, that testimony stinks! W what Miss May, I'm willing to bet that- Oh, you're lying. Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? <laughs> Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Yes, what do you mean? Somebody tell me, because I'm clueless about this, I mean. Oh my god, I fucking hate her. If you really witnessed my client, my fae, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique, you fucking idiot. The testimony is bullshit. But, but... Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way on the night... See, Judge, you know, I was kind of there, so I know what she dressed like. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I, I, I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all that trifling little details were necessary, darling. <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. <laughs> I hate you. I'll be a good girl, I promise. Thank you. That, that clock. Wait a goddamn minute. Well, does that accuracy of my report not startle you, T? <laughs> well, <laughs> how'd you know it was a clock, bitch? Uh, please begin the cross-examination. I will and will beat your ass. M Miss May. Miss May, sweetie. What you just said now was quite revealing. Revealing? Ooh, you like that, would you? <laughs> You will withdraw your question. Excuse me. Yeah, I heard it say the time. So you've been to the law offices of Fay and Co. No, hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. <laughs> The law office of the Fango where the murder took place is very close to the hotel. However, Mr. Edgy Boy, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but the clockwork was removed. So, you know, it kind of couldn't have, you know, did the little clock thing that it does. You have proof that she could not. Um, yes? No. Amateurs, amateurs, listen to me, Mr. Wright, in courtroom. No, I know. I have my proof. Come on. No, I... The work was removed! It is as you can see, the clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. 
Therefore, this witness is a big, fat liar. Fat? Well, Miss May, <laughs> wink. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork moved? It was if it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. Well, I have the phone records, buddy boy. Well, is it, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was that again? I go to so many, well, sweetheart. Oh, you're trying so hard. It's a one of a kind. The other one is in police custody. Impossible, everything is sold in stores. Oh, Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, excuse is not on sale today. <laughs> I'm screaming. Oh God, her boobs. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, 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 <laughs> silly me. Did I, um, like, lose it? <laughs> I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because you, you heard about it. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, your honor. There is no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. Because of the wiretap, baby! Have a look at this. Uh, uh, that, uh, uh, mm, mm. Your honor, this is irrelevant. Are you, you sure about that, buddy? It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was typing her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Ah, uh -huh. yeah, she did. Oh yeah, I think I can. It's pretty simple. What? Dun 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 dun. I present the defendant cell phone. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on for me. Again? What's it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. <laughs> you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I... I... Objection! <sighs> Your Honor, this... this it's ridiculous. Your Honor, um, look at the witness's face here. Do, you know, does she seem kind of amused? I don't think so. Uh, the defense demands an answer. Let her witness answer the question. The dude tapped her phone. Miss May, shut up, all of you. What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer. It's no fair, all of you ganging up on me like that. Oh, so I'm the bad girl, is that it? <laughs> yeah, that actually is kind of it. Why the wiretap? Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't Tippity tapping or irrelevant? Ugh, she's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. Could you prove you had nothing to do with this murder even though you tapped her phone? Okay, so the killing happened at around 9 o'clock at night, right? And why is... Why? That's just when I was getting room service from that sweet, sweet bellboy. Oh, God. Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts, and then you have regular cold coffee. Iced coffee. You think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. <laughs> Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. Uh, maybe, maybe call the bellboy as a witness? 
there's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you've sunken quite low enough already. I object to calling the bellboy. Wait, why? What's... There's no reason. Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. If you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. And thereby you must also accept the verdict of guilty. What? That's... that... no, that... I don't think that's how it works. That is my condition. Wait, is this allowed? What should I do? Accept the condition, that's the only thing I can do. Even though that doesn't seem legal. All right, I've got nothing to lose, except for, well, everything. Understood, I accept your condition. Hmm. Foolish fool, you fell right into my trap. Uh-oh. Um, wait. Very well, the court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. But that doesn't, I don't, oh, that doesn't make sense.